for joining us tonight. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. It has been an incredibly difficult week in the Fulton area, I and mean, tonight not any easier. Right now, as we speak, calling hours are going on for Riley Bartlett, the 17-year-old G. Ray Bodley Jr. that was killed in a crash this weekend. As we've heard from so many, the tragedy has hit the high school the hardest, but the teen's impact goes further than Fulton. We'll now get a report from News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan with more. Miss you forever, fly high angel. Diane Kuklinski reads messages written on stones by Riley's cosmetology classmates. They'll go into a vase filled with flowers. The students helped organize with a BOCES agriculture teacher. She got Riley's favorite color, roses, pink. Um, she invited, I thought that she would probably just put something together, but she invited my class to go in there yesterday morning and they all gathered around. The arrangement will be on display at Riley's services. One of the ways these students are remembering their friend. The teacher says her printer ink has run dry. The class posting photos on Riley's workstation around her practice mannequin, now untouched for a week. BOCES is a little bit unique where there's a bunch of students from all over Oswego County that are grieving. And um, I'm honored to be able to help them through that. Grief she knows all too well. At age 26, Kuklinski lost her younger sister in a crash. I have to be strong for these students. I just want them to be, I want to have a shoulder for them to cry on. My coworkers as well, they're all very strong for the students. I can't tell you what tonight's going to be like. Um, I ask the students if they want to find me, if they want to stand with me in line, they certainly can. I can't promise how strong I'm going to be tonight though. Enrolled in a two-year program, Riley should have returned to Kuklinski's class next year. Her workstation will stay unused in memory of the girl this teacher always called her angel student. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And the calling hours run until 7 tonight at the Foster Funeral Home in Fulton. Riley's funeral is tomorrow at 3, also at the funeral home and streamed on Facebook because of the limited space. Riley's boyfriend, 16-year-old Brady Nivers, still hospitalized tonight. His injuries are severe. His mom has been urging the community to pray he pulls through. And the couple in the minivan injured in the crash are also still in the hospital.